Yo guys, what's up? Grissom here from Affinity Collective. Today we're going to be looking at the Advanced Genetics mod by OpsyLP. Now this mod allows you to inject traits from mobs in the game into your Minecraft player. So, let's get started here. The first thing that you're going to need is this thing called a scraper. And what you're going to do is, any mob in the game, you're just going to come up to it and right click. It's going to give you things, these little things on the ground here called skin cells. It's going to give the mob a little damage. And what this does, it gives you the ability to take a certain trait from the mob and inject it into yourself. So for the spider, the trait we're looking for is climb. Now what you're going to need first is to power all your machines. I'm using a tesseract from my big reactor, but the advanced genetics mod does give you a power solution just using a combustion generator and putting coal in the slot here will power the machines just fine. So the first machine that you're going to want is called a DNA analyzer. And what you're going to do is you're going to take some of those skin cells that you took off your mob, in this case the spider, and you're going to place it in the left slot. And on the output, it's going to give you a cell and, or and an organic drop. So I take that out of there, it's going to start filling up the arrow. So the next machine that we're going to look at is called a DNA extractor. And you're just going to take the cell that you got in the analyzer, put it in the left slot, and it's going to give you an encrypted helix. So let's take that out. The next machine is going to be a DNA decryptor. You can put your helix, which is encrypted, into the decryptor, and it's going to give you just a regular helix, and it's either going to give you a basic gene helix, a climb helix, or one that is both a basic gene and climb helix. So, after that, your de-encrypted helix, you're going to go to the DNA splitter. Now, in this case, I don't have any that are both, so when I put this in the left slot over here, it's going to say choose the gene. Sometimes you'll have one that says climb and basic gene, and sometimes you'll have it just climb, and then there's also just basic gene. In this case, we're looking to get the trait climb, so we're going to put the climb helix in here. We're going to hit climb, and it's going to start filling up, and I'll see you guys when it's done. Alright, so it finished up there, and it gave us a gene for climb and another organic drop. So, coming on down here, we're going to go to the DNA breeder, and we're going to put that gene, that climb gene, in there. And here it's going to say breeding state, 0 out of 16. And what that means is that you have to put either the same climb gene that you just made in that whole process into the left side, and that'll give you two states. Or you can put a basic gene made from a basic gene helix into that slot, and we'll give you one. And you want to fill that up until it's at 16. Boom, there we go, completed. So I got my completed climb gene. The next step that we're going to go to is we're going to go to the centrifuge now. And this is where you want to come out and you want to grab your syringe. Now the syringe takes a drop of blood from you, take a little bit of damage, so you're just going to right click and hold it all the way, and it's going to give you a little blindness rip in it, but it's going to fill up your syringe with your blood. Now in here, we're going to go to the, uh, sorry, not the centrifuge, we're going to go to the combiner, and we're going to combine the syringe that you just did, and I'm in creative, so it says centrifuge, and we're going to put our completed gene on the left side and it's going to put the climb gene into the syringe which is filled. So we do that. Now it's a filled syringe. Next thing we have to come back to the centrifuge and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that in there and it's going to fill up the arrow and it's going to give us a centrifuge syringe which is filled with the climb gene. Now these are not labeled with the genes that are in them so be careful if you lose track if you're making multiple ones it can be a bit tricky. So if you just right click here, so after you've injected by right clicking and holding it, you're going to see that the syringe is now empty and you're going to have your gene. So climbing around all around here, you now have your gene for the spider. Now you might want to then remove the gene and that's what I'm going to show you next. Alright guys, so we're back and we're going to look at the DNA transmutator. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to take the gene that you just put in yourself out. So what we need is we need our organic drops and we're going to need a a completed climb gene so you're going to need to make another one of the genes that you just made and these organic drops it's going to say before I put them in it's going to, it says needs 33 organic drops so you just put you know 33 in there it's going to start filling it up and what that will give you is a anti gene so from there you're just going to do the same thing you're going to you know, fill up your syringe right click in and hold give you a little blindness you're going to go to your DNA remover, you're going to take your filled syringe, usually you're going to have to centrifuge that first before you can use it, but since I'm in creative, once again, 
it just automatically comes centrifuge. So you're going to put that in there, you're going to take your anti-gene, your climb, and you're going to put it in the left slot, and what it's going to do, it's going to process it and turn that into a syringe that will take the climb gene out of you. So once you have that syringe filled up in your DNA remover, you're going to go back to your centrifuge, and you're going to just throw that in there. Anytime before you inject a filled syringe into your body, you're going to have to centrifuge it, so if you're trying to inject one that is not centrifuged, and you're wondering why the heck can I do this, that is why. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click and we're going to hold that in. Nausea, but now I can no longer climb. It's not going to let me do anything. The advanced genetics model uh, installs a nice microscope feature that if you take a syringe and you just right click on that, it's going to start analyzing. Uh, it takes a bit to analyze, so I'll come back when it's all finished. So after just right clicking on the microscope of the filled syringe, you can see what genes you have installed here, so more hearts and shoot fireballs. So unfortunately, playing in the monster pack 1.1.0 through 1.1.1, there's a bug with the scraper and the special mobs mod, and you can find that in the FTB wiki, but you're not going to be able to get the traits if you're running any of those versions of the mod pack. Another nice thing about uh, the advanced genetics mod, it works well with the sync mod, which I'll put a link to in the upper right corner by the minimap. So the sync mod allows you to have different clones and all these traits will be specific to the clones. So let's say you have three different clones and you have traits for all of them, a climb in one, a uh, boost to health in another, and uh, fire resistance in a, th a third. All those traits will be specific to those clones so you can kind of customize the clones how you want it to. So, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Let us know what you guys want to see next, alright? Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. You can check Hotties. that out here in the upper right, but I can't actually don't have a cursor, but it's I'm up not, here. I'm not going to put the video in there. Up here. Nope, I won't do it. Down here.